Malta Blockchain Summit 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Tech Startup Pitch of the winter edition of the AIBC Summit 2019. Ages iCommunity Labs and Tech. Uh, let's give Luis Miguel. Luis Miguel. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, uh, I'm Luis, co-founder of eCommunity. Uh, we are not an exchange. We don't use cryptocurrency. We do uh, digital transformation using uh, blockchain. Uh, the thing is that now we are a lovers of uh, blockchain. We, we, we like it a lot. But uh, the reality is that you go to the companies, and especially small and medium-sized entities, uh, they don't want to spend much time and money to put those, uh, that technology into their processes. So what uh, we had decided is to create a platform with different products that they leverage in the technology of blockchain to resolve real problems that the companies they have. Um, we have been running for one year and a half, and uh, this year we released mainly a product to certified and signed documents, and also trustability and smart contracts. So those are the products that we have at the moment. Uh, 235 uh, you can do for signature of contracts, certification of uh, jobs done by suppliers, uh, IP registration, uh, asset ownership, so you give more transparency, and you can use it uh, within a cluster of companies. So there is a, a circle of trust. Also, the trustability, we, we have been working with clients mainly in the agriculture, like food and be beverage producers, and how they certify the supply chain uh, of production, origin production, and logistics. And then what, why we are different from other blockchain suppliers? Well, it's because uh, we have a platform of products ready to use that we connect to different blockchain solutions. At the moment, we are working with uh, Ethereum and Hyperledger. But in the future, uh, we can use different ones depending what, what is going to be the standard in the coming years. And we are going to build new products so we can resolve more complex issues. Other companies that are out there, they give you the infrastructure, but you need a developer team to implement it in, in your company. So our business model is uh, software as a service, so we have a subscription fee and pay-per-use. And the roadmap is for the coming months is to in, include new products like digital identity, tokenization of assets, so we can resolve different products uh, and problems. And our team, we are four founders, and, and we have a quite large experience in advisory, uh, technology, and full stack developer and PhD within our team. And we have also a team of developers that are all based in Madrid, Spain, so it's local. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you, Lewis. Any questions? Any questions? Uh, how many customers are uh, using your blockchain right now? Sorry? How many customers are using it? We, we have uh, eight customers uh, that are like beta tester. Uh, six of them are on, on freemium uh, basis, and two of them, they are like real clients paying for the services. Thank you. I, um, I, I, it was kind of interesting that you used uh, the abbreviation IBS. Uh, uh, and a lot of people with uh, irritable bowels uh, might uh, Sorry, think. Can you close the mic? I was, uh, I was surprised that you actually used the uh, abbreviation IBS. Uh, people with irritable bowels uh, might actually be offended uh, using that, but uh, be that as it may, I thought your, um, your concept is more like blockchain as a utility than blockchain as a service. Uh, as a suggestion, you might want to use the... Uh, I see you more as a utility company than as a service company. Well, uh, it's as a service, so we have a product ready, ready to be used by companies, and there is a a layer that they can customize. They can use our web platform and mobile app, or they can connect through API uh, to, their, to their back end or front end uh, if they have. 
How, how does it compare to the tools on AWS? And then how scalable is this? I, I'm confused with that part. Mm -hmm. Well, at the moment, uh, as we have just uh, running for, for one year, we do customization for, for the client that asked for it. But uh, in the future, we, we want to fully packetize the product so it's scalable. And also, we are now focusing B2B, but in the future, we are going to, to launch a B2C product that are as they are in the platform. So it's the focus to be fully scalable. Nevertheless, at the moment, we are bootstrapping and, and we do this kind of uh, advisory consultancy uh, to, to our clients. So if, if I'm a company and I want to uh, transform part of my business on blockchain, how it works? I have to buy a license or? Yes. So basically, uh, we got into agreement that they to pay monthly subscription and they pay per use, per transaction. And so per transaction, uh, it depends on the protocol I use. I mean, if yeah, well, it, it, it depends on, on the use case because it's not the same if you are doing like a trustability of, um, of the supply chain that you have a IT, IoT sensor that are giving you many many records. That, uh, for example, if you do like a certification of a, a buy sell. A contract of a, of a building that it could be just one transaction for one million euros. So if if it's a certificate uh, generation, for example, on blockchain, I should pay per certificates or per transaction of protocol. Yeah, per transaction of protocol. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers.